In this video, we're going to go over several PDF tricks. First, we'll figure out how to fill a form, especially when the PDF does not have fillable fields. I'll show you how to sign the form. Then you can send that form via email right from within the application. Then we'll go to a real nifty feature called Summarize Comments. This is a real good one, especially if you're grading papers. Show you how to print to PDF. And then, this is a really great one, we'll end up with Split and Merge. How do you bring files together into one PDF file or take one file and split it up? To do this, I'm going to recommend that you download a piece of software called PDF Foxit Reader. There's the address, or it's a very popular program. So if you Google it, it'll come right up. That's what the uh, screen looks like right there. So you click on Download. It will probably detect what platform you're using. So just go ahead and download it once you get this window. When you get to this next screen, probably OK just to leave the default. Then on this one, Enable Safe Reading Mode will be enabled. And that's probably a great safety feature. But what I found is that if you leave it on later on, it'll get real annoying as you start to read your documents. So if you are pretty sure that what you're downloaded in the form of a PDF is safe and secure, and you have very good antivirus software, this should probably be OK. This is another screen uh, upon installation. And I'm just showing it to you because you'll notice there are lots of options in the form of plugins. Do you want PDF to be available for you in some of these other Microsoft Office applications? I personally have not used the plugin for the other applications as it seems to me that Microsoft Office already makes them available. Then on this one, very important, the default will be that you install a free 30-day trial of Foxit Phantom PDF Standard. This is a software that you have to pay for, and it's very good. Uh, however, if you are looking at getting the free PDF reader that I'm recommending, switch over to the last option, which is Don't Install, and that will give you the free version. All right, so let's talk about completing a form that doesn't have fillable fields in PDF Foxit Reader. So I just found a uh, PDF online that would make for a good example. Here's something from my university. Uh, and so once I open this, here's how I can fill it out. Opening up Foxit Reader, in the top menu, you'll want to first go to Comment, and you'll see the button called Typewriter. Once I click on that, I can just click within the field. And if everything is OK here, font and font size, then I can just type very easily. OK, so I can just kind of go over here and do something like that. It's not my real number. Permanent address, ba-boom, fake address. And this is my real email address, but you can see how easy it is to complete a form. Now I can go in here at any time, by the way, double click, highlight, and then change font colors. Just like Microsoft Word, I can change different features of those fonts. So as I scroll down, same thing. I can start adding text no matter where I am in the PDF. As I scroll down, the other thing I wanted to show you is that sometimes you want to highlight instead of type. So for instance, in this case, uh, when I go back to comment, there is a little guy called area highlight there. So if I want to answer just like that, actually another way to do it is also through text highlight. See right up here? Click on that guy, and then all you got to do is highlight the text. So either way, that will help you to answer those types of questions. All right, so now that we have reviewed how to complete a PDF form by using typewriter, let's do a couple or three other things. First, what if you need to sign this? Well, Foxit Reader has a great feature called PDF Sign. It's under the Home tab. Then you here it is, PDF Sign. Just click on that. And what you're going to notice is I already have my signature in here. And the way that I did that is I took a big piece of paper, a nice blue marker, signed my name, scanned it, 
and then cropped out any of the edges. So it really became a graphic. I can add other signatures just by hitting the plus sign here. Once I've added my signature, all I have to do is click on that guy and then notice how it hovers. So I'm going to then place it, drop it right there. And then from here, I can kind of enlarge it, move it around. And then once I'm pleased with where that signature is and the size of the signature, all I got to do is click on this guy and say apply signature. And that's it. It is in the document. Can't move it around. So that's how you sign a document. Next, let's figure out now how to get it to somewhere else. First, you might want to email this to someone. So now that it's complete, all you have to do is go up to the top and there it is. Just click on email. Now, if you don't have that email button, just click on the down chevron there and make sure that email is checked off. Once I click on the email button, my uh, email program will open up and this will automatically attach to the email. The other thing I might want to do is print this out. Now, let me also tell you too that every now and then, once I complete a document and sign it, um, I will send it to someone via email and then they tell me that it was not complete. So somehow all of my work did not get saved or stick. So here's what I've learned to do. Uh, and that is to print it out first before I, before I email it. So I'm going to hit control P to print and I'm not going to print it to my printer. I'm going to print it to a PDF using the Foxit Reader PDF printer. So when you install Foxit Reader, it also gave you a new PDF printer, which by the way, you can use with any program, Excel, PowerPoint, and it gives you some great options to print to PDF. So once I've printed this to PDF, that is the file that I send via email. And I know all of my work will be in there. And also, this is how you print to your other printers as well. One of my other favorite features of Foxit Reader is the comment section. So for instance, uh, one of the things I do with my students is have them read uh, scholarly articles. And rather than summarize or annotate, I have them insert their thoughts and questions as they're reading. So for example, I just put in this little study here. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And this might be an example. So for instance, I'm going to hit comment. And then I'm going to insert a note. And I might go over here and say, wow, this is a really cool forward section. Wasn't expecting that. Now I'm just kind of having some fun with this. Obviously, they hopefully put in some comments that are thoughtful and provocative and insightful. Um, so we did, we've done that. I'm going to scroll down here. And let's do another one. And I'm just going to kind of bring it over that way. Can't wait to read this section because blah, blah, blah. Scroll down. So maybe I get to another section here. And we'll do one more. Uh, we'll say uh, after reading this section on career paths, I was thinking blah, blah, blah. OK, so you can imagine now there are there may be just all kind there may be 40 or 50 of these if the uh, article is pretty big. And one way for me to review these is to go through them, scroll down and read them one at a time. Another way I can do it, however, is much better. And that's through summarize comments from here. One of my favorite here is document and comments with connector lines. So what Foxit is going to do for me is just kind of bring out all of the sections with comments and show me those without me having to go through the entire document looking for them. So I hit it, as I hit OK, there it is. So it's showing me that somebody commented here in the forward section and onto the right side is the comment and the timestamp for when that comment was made. Here's another one. So this gives me a nice little summary of those comments just to show you. Another summary report is just give me the comments only. So what it'll do now when I hit OK is it'll just give me uh, the page numbers and the comments that were on that page. And it will separate it by pages so I can get a quick list of all the comments made.
One of the questions I get pretty frequently is how do I merge PDF files? So if I have a bunch of different files, how do I put them into one file? Here's one way you can do that very simply. Check out this website where all you have to do is drag your files. It will quickly merge the files and then allow you to download a single file after the merge. So for example, I have here several files. These are all ASCA journal articles. And uh, I like to be able to send them to my Kindle and read them while I'm on the road or, or wherever I'm at. And it would just be easier to put them all together into one issue. So, for example, here I go. I'm going to go ahead and copy. Uh, I'm going to select all of these files. And I'm doing that by first selecting the first one, holding the Shift key, selecting the last one. And then I'm just going to drag them down into the website area. And look at that. It's already putting them together. It looks like it's already finished. From here, I can actually drag and drop the order of these files. Click on Merge. Files are being merged. It's pretty quickly uh, done. And now I can just save the single PDF to my computer. This uh, website also has an extension for Chrome. So if you're using the Chrome browser, you can uh, download an extension called PDF Mergey. And then all you have to do is then click on your apps, click on PDF Mergey, and no, no need even going to the website. It comes up right for you right here. And finally, if you want to take a large PDF document and split it up, there's a couple of easy ways to do it. First, you might just go to a website like splitpdf.com. From here, you can just drag a file or get it from your computer, Dropbox, or Google Drive. Tell it how you want to split the file up, and it does it pretty quickly. One of my favorites, too, is called PDF SAM. SAM stands for Split and Merge. So this program, which is a free program, also uh, merges as well as splits files. When you go to this website, click on Download PDF SAM Basic. Uh, don't be fooled by this ad over here. What you want to do is scroll down even further and use one of these buttons here as the correct downloader for your platform. So that is how you would split up a PDF file.